we've got to think long term, Ricky. If there's too much mileage or it's bad out of hell and you lose a day's work, then you've got to pay for the replacement. That's a 200 quid kick in the ball straight away. That's why you've got to go for something decent. I went for one of these. It's because it's bigger, which means I can get all the oversized parcels in. Flexibility, bonus, but it's still small enough that it doesn't affect your driving. I could do 24 hours straight in one of these. Yeah, but it's 14 grand. Now, Abby will have kittens, but we're still paying a loan off as it is. But do the maths, right? A van like that's going to cost you, what, £400 a month? If you hire one from the company, that's 65 quid a day, every day. You need to find yourself nigh on a grand deposit from one of these fans. <laughs> no chance. How are we getting on? They're doing great. Yeah. All right. Now just remember, you've got to be a bit quicker. First in, last out. That's what it is. Get the order sorted now. It'll save you a nervous breakdown later on. All right? Now, you've got to hit your ETAs. That's your estimated time of arrival. But it's all on your gun, right? Right. Have you got any more questions? No, 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 it's fine. It's all right. I've got a question. What's that? When are you going to get these fucking parcels out? Hey, that's your cheat, right? You were a donkey for the first oh, month no, and all. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ignore him. He couldn't kick shite along a gutter. It's a subcontractor driver works for Big Sam. That's Sam's van. Sam gets £170 per route every day. So much do you get for driving it? 70 quid. Fucking okay, no. Hey, I tell you what, you do well the day, you'll get a better route. One more thing, and this is the most important thing of all. Yeah? You're gonna need this. It's <clears throat> not for. That's for pissing him. Fucking winding me up. You'll see. Now come on, I'll give you a hand. Come on, Mr. Singh. I know you're in there. I know he's in. Mr. Bunton, can I help? We're here to inspect your television license. Look at that. What? Fox. Big fella. Any house with a television is required to have a license. Our radar van detected a line output transformer signal from this address coming from a cathode ray tube this time last week. Oh, I haven't got one of them. That's a telly. Oh, oh we've got one of them. And do you have a license? In what sense? In the sense of having one, or not having one. Gentlemen, join me, Robin Hood, after the adverts. We'll see your license, sir. Don't need one. We only watch ITV, which is paid for by these. This is a mistake. I can go to the this post office no in the morning. This is no mistake. It is a political act. Witness, I cannot receive the BBC. To the left, ITV. I've taken the band one coil from the turret tuna. Here we go again. My wife always supports me in private. It is thus physically impossible for this set to receive a televisual signal from the British Broadcasting Corporation. That negates the imperative on me to pay the license I've fee. only got 16 bob here. Jackie, fetch the kitty Don't from you the lawn. It's an unfair tax on ordinary people, especially the oldies that can't afford it. Television, gentlemen, is the modern cure for loneliness. We're a movement. I'm not. Our aim is to persuade our government that old people should have free televisual viewing. Well, the law's the law, and no one's above it. Especially a nobody like you. Oi! You can't talk to me dad like that in his own house. Or what? No, I kept it. Don't know, Barry. Never think about it. You back again, stirring it. Who are you? Evening Chronicle. Well, by Free TV for the OAP. <laughs> I like it. I was pleased. Not a lot rhymes with TV. I don't want this in the papers. He does. That's why I'm here. Well, by statute, anyone owning a television needs a license. Ah, but I have modified this set by removing the BBC coil, so I owe the government nothing. That is an unarguable proposition and certainly sound in law. All right. <laughs> 